So as I, I mentioned in the last section, in this one I would like to talk about the difference between bounded and unbounded widgets and also introduce a new layout widget called the expanded widget. And this is all to answer the question of why wouldn't you want to always use a list view? Why wouldn't you want to wrap all your rows and your columns in a single child scroll view so that if you hit the bounds, you would not get an error? So you would automatically go into that scrolling behavior. And the answer there is that sometimes bounds are your friends. And so I'd like to illustrate this by reproducing what we have here on the screen. So this is an iPhone 12 mini uh, running a few widgets. And we have uh, an app bar that is the same as our app bar here. We've got some text that represents the content of the page. And then like you often have in an app, you might have a banner or a button sitting at the bottom of the screen. So let's try to build this with a list view and see what happens. So coming back to what we had here before, let's get rid of our scroll direction because we don't want this to go horizontal. We want it to go vertical. And let's get rid of all our children because they don't match what we have in our app that we're duplicating. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to add a text widget that says my page content. So we say text, my page content, like that. And that puts it on the screen. It's in the upper left corner, of course, but it's on the screen for now. And then our next widget, we want to build a container that has this green color like that. So let's say a container. And let's give it a color of colors light green. We want to have the word next in there so we can put a child on our container. And that can be a text that says next. And a container is going to need to have some height if we want it to be bigger than the words. So let's give it a height of 100. So if we drag that over here, we can see that our next is actually centered in our container. So we know how to do that. Let's just wrap the text with a center widget. So we click on it. We go to our light bulb, we go down to wrap with center, and that should move our next into the middle of the container. So we're looking pretty good there. Now we also want this my page content to be centered. So let's go to our text with our my page content and let's also wrap that with a center. And we can see that moves uh, centered horizontally. And our only remaining problem is we don't have enough space in the content to move the next down. So what we could do is we could uh, come to our center with our text that has my page content in it. And we could put that inside a container and we can make that container as big as it needs to be so that we push the next down to the bottom. So we wrap with container. And then we can come here and give our container a height of, let's say, 500. Let's see what that does for us. Maybe I'll format that too. I'll put some trailing commas in there so that when I hit Option Shift F or, or Alt Shift F, that uh, it gives me a, a nice new line break there. Um, so I save that, and I can see I'm almost to the bottom. So let's try 600. And that looks like it's a bit much, so let's do like 580. Try 570, that's too much. 580 looked to be about perfect. And with that, we have duplicated the UI with one major problem. We have pretty much hard-coded the dimensions of this one device. So I'm on a Pixel 3a, and if anybody uses this on a Pixel 3a, it'll look just like this. If they use it on a much larger phone, it is probably going to look something like that. And when we do that and we hit refresh, we see that we get an error here. 
And it says, parent widget expanded wants to apply parent data of type flex parent data to a render object, which has been set up to accept parent data of incompatible type parent data. Usually this means that the expanded widget has the wrong ancestor. And so what's going on there? What's going on there is we have asked the expanded widget to take up all the available space on the screen. And we have done that inside a list view. And a list view is unbounded. It has no bounds, which is why it can freely flow off the screen and not throw an error. But if you're asking the expanded widget to take up all the available space, that, that available space is undefined in an unbounded widget. The expanded widget is only going to work as the child of a widget that is bounded because the expanded widget needs to know how much space it has to expand to. So the same thing would happen if we had done a row with a single child scroll view. As soon as you throw that single child scroll view into the mix, the widget has become unbounded and something like an expanded widget won't work. So how do we fix this? Well, let's take our list view and replace it with a column. And let me clear out that error and resave it so we can see that there is no error. And that gives us exactly what we want. And how did we achieve that? Well, we used a bounded widget. The column widget, by default, without adding single child scroll view, is bounded by the dimensions of the phone. And because we had those hard dimensions, we were able to say to Flutter, we want a container that is 100 pixels high, and we want to use an expanded widget to take up what is left. And because we had used a bounded widget, Flutter was able to make the calculation for us and put the My Page content in what was left and push the next all the way to the bottom. And we'll continue to expand on this concept as we actually start to mock up some real UIs for some real apps. But it is an important one. This is a source of frustration for a lot of people as they learn Flutter, um, understanding these bounded versus unbounded widgets and not getting things like overflow errors. And just to, to, to continue to drive it home just a little bit more, um, I'm going to replace this expanded widget with a list view. And then I'm going to add some children. So I'm going to say instead of that one line of text, we want to put a list view in here that has two lines of text. So we'll do one line that says my page and then we'll come down below and we'll actually put the content on the next line like that. And so if I hit refresh, I can instantly see that I have got a ton of errors. And the reason for that is I started with a column which has the boundaries of the device because it's on the, the body property of the scaffold. I stuck in a container which had a height of 100. And then I put a list view that has no boundaries whatsoever. And all of that is a volatile mix to say you're bounded by this region. You have one widget that takes up this much of it. And then you've got this other widget that has absolutely no boundaries. You just can't do that. What you can do, however, is add boundaries to an unbounded widget. And we could do that in this case by just simply putting back the expanded widget and wrapping it around the list view. So if I go to wrap with widget and I say expanded and then I hit refresh, I can see I have my two lines of content. They're not centered, but they're here on the screen and it's not throwing an error. In fact, let me uh, let me clear my error and hit save just to prove to you that we're not getting an error. And so how do we achieve that? Well, thinking like Flutter, we have a column which is bounded by the dimensions of the device because it is a property of the scaffold. We then added a 100 pixel high container in here. We then gave it the expanded widget and the expanded widget said, I'm going to take up whatever is left on the screen. It's a bounded widget. Now we then put an unbounded widget, a list view inside the expanded, but that's okay because that's going to flow on and off of the expanded widget, which has a precise definition. So at the level where Flutter is actually calculating this out, it has everything it needs. The fact that an unbounded widget lives inside of a bounded widget is not relevant to calculating 
what's remaining on the screen and what goes where. So I realize that that might be as clear as mud at this point, but I did want to introduce this concept and we will continue to work through it as we mock up UIs. And at this point, you have enough knowledge of the basic widgets, of the basics of layouts, that it's time to actually start building some real applications, or at least the UI of them. So that's what we're going to start in the next unit. We are going to pick a design, and we are going to create a real app in Flutter.